Hello, welcome to the chapel in the garden. <laughs> the daffodils may be wilting a bit, but as most of us are after being in lockdown for so long. But we have this technology. We do find it a little bit difficult to deal with, but we can still keep in contact with the phone and various other media that we can just about learn how to use. In fact, uh, I had a consultation with my doctor this week. <laughs> It was amazing, really. He wanted to see what was going on with the swelling on my left ankle. And I could see his face, he could see me. And I showed him <laughs> my leg. And job done. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? But it still is tough times for each one of us, isn't it? We're being unable to, to go out and talk with people, meet with people, share lunch together and things like that. But the great thing is that we always are in contact with God. He never leaves us and he never forsakes us. So this Easter, what can we say? Well, I had words with Victor Newman recently and he was putting together uh, a, a little talk on Psalm 121. So I thought, well, why not go for that one? So if you'll turn with me, if you have a Bible handy, to Psalm 121. We'll read it together. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade. At your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming in, both now and forevermore. Well, Victor's picked a very good psalm to encourage us, I believe. When I was a kid, I was brought up on the King James Version about you but uh, some of the words I did find very very difficult and I did get this verse wrong because the King James reads uh, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help and as a kid I thought is he saying his help comes from the hills uh, there's no question mark or anything but with our modern versions we come to this clear decision the psalmist was talking about where his help comes from. It doesn't come from the mountains. It doesn't come from our physical strength. It doesn't come from anything that we might have learned these days or this technology that surrounds us. Brilliant though it is, our help comes from the Lord. It comes directly from the Almighty God. The pilgrims would have sung this as they went up towards Jerusalem for the Passover or other feasts that they held. And I want you to notice that five times in this psalm, God is said to be watching over us. Verse 3, 4, 5, 7 and 8. He is watching over us. We may be alone. We may feel isolated. But God is watching over us. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. The pilgrims going up to Jerusalem were worried about a fall on a rocky place, which, which could be very difficult with no NHS. Praise the Lord for the NHS, eh? But in those days, no chance. Sunstroke would have been a real problem too. Could kill people, the fierceness of the sun in those parts of the world. And outside of towns, of course, there were robbers that could come in and harm. So verse 7 promises us that the Lord will be near with us all the time. He will keep them from all harm. He will keep you from all harm. It doesn't mean, of course, that Christians don't suffer like everybody else. We do. And it could well be that problems come our way. Maybe we are facing very great difficulties at the moment. But the Lord is with us. He's watching over us. The everlasting arms are underneath us and he will see us through. The difference for the Christian is that whatever we face, 
God is watching over us. He is with us, never slumbering, never sleeping, available to us 24-7. Remember the Lord told his disciples, Surely I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. The situation in which we find ourselves with this COVID-19 virus is very, very serious. It's a microscopic virus. We can't see it to the, na to the naked eye. You can't pick it up or anything and, and analyse it. It's tiny. And yet when it gets in your body, it does dreadful damage. When we come to Easter, it reminds us that each of us have another type of virus that we've been living with for many years. Even more serious, it's the virus of sin. But the Lord Jesus came and died on the cross for us so that we could be forgiven for that sin. That's what Easter's all about. The power of God in forgiveness and the power of God in resurrection. We look around and we see, well, some of the daffodils are a bit worse for wear now, but there is new life, the magnolia, and I can see down there, the Forsythia and the, the Red Robin that I planted last year is looking very nice. New life is all around us. Hope is there if we have our hope in the Lord Jesus. Many of you know that Wes Ross, who's a friend of ours, who comes to the chapel from time to time from Massachusetts in the United States. I looked on his website this week and even though he's had cancer for five years, He's still the pastor there in the chapel, leading the worship, leading the music. And he was singing and playing as he loves to do. But he set us a challenge where he set me one as I watched it. And he was telling his congregation perhaps during this time to learn a verse. I'll read it to you. It's Isaiah 41 verse 10. Isaiah 41 verse 10. And I suppose Wes challenged me, so I'm challenging you now, perhaps, to, in these critical days, let's use the time we have to memorise scripture, maybe this particular verse. So, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What a wonderful verse. Well, end of this little time, perhaps we could say the ironic blessing to each other. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. God bless you. Hope to see you soon.